everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks as they square off against the number one overall pick, Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. With that, let's get up to Seattle. Standing by at CenturyLink Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Set to go now on a prototypical rainy Northwestern afternoon. And off we go from Seattle. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Time to see what Seattle can do here on offense, led by quarterback Russell Wilson. Week one, they did just enough to get by Cincinnati, 21 to 20. Russell Wilson threw for a couple of scores and 196 yards. And the thing about him is, his stats are always impressive, but he's not hung up on them at all. All he cares about is getting the win, and I found it appropriate that he found Tyler Lockett for the touchdown pass in the fourth quarter that gave them the winning margin. Because remember, Tyler Lockett moved inside to the slot to take over for Doug Baldwin, who retired, and Doug Baldwin was Russell Wilson's safety net for many years in Seattle. run good for two here's second and eight this is Chris Carson thousand yard rusher a year ago and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage they'll wind up losing three yards here and that's going to lead to a third and 11. After one, Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they're facing a very tough third and 11. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Wilson. He can run for it, and he will. And avoids the contact by sliding. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Fourth down and out is the all-pro punter from a year ago, Michael Dixon, to punt for Seattle. Back deep, the dangerous Farrow Cooper. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The top pick, Mr. Kyler Murray, bringing out the Arizona offense here. It was an Arizona offense that really started slow in week one against Detroit. Came on late to send it to overtime. But you look at Kyler Murray's numbers, Charles. He threw the ball 54 times, 308 yards. And they hated the fact that he had to throw it that many times. But I think their head coach, Cliff Kingsbury, I don't think, I know he said that the first three quarters of offense were as bad as, as he's seen. And that's why they had to fill the air with footballs in the fourth quarter to make a great comeback and walk away with a tie. Those 54 passes, by the way, only one short of Sam Bradford's 55 for the most by a rookie in NFL history. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First down, Murray. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target, and now it's second down. Well, Charles, as we peek back to week one, what would you say were the positives for some teams or individuals that you took away? Well, it started on opening night, Green Bay, and their defense, not necessarily Aaron Rodgers and what they did going into Chicago and winning. Kansas City, they picked right up where they left off with Patrick Mahomes, explosive on offense. 
How about Baltimore and Lamar Jackson? He's not just a single wing tailback, folks. He's a quarterback. And Tennessee, going into Cleveland, Marcus Mariota, Derrick Henry, put up 43 points on the Browns. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Murray to throw on third and one. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a defensive stalemate. No scoring in that first half whatsoever. But a breakthrough can't be too far off. And for the start of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight scoreless as we start the third quarter and i love the way you use the word tight i'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard i think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game no one's been loose no one's been free they've got to find a way to make some plays and i don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game a good run there on first down and it'll leave them with a second and two a lot of people felt Johnson was a little misused during what was a disappointing 2018. 940 yards on the ground, seven touchdowns. Great for most, but not the season Johnson was hoping for. And he said this offseason, there are a lot of good running backs in the NFL, but I'm the best. And now he's trying to prove it, hoping to get back to the production that sent him to the Pro Bowl in 2016. That would certainly help his rookie quarterback. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Third and two, and here's Murray. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now it's Lockett. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. So three quarters in the book, still no one on the scoreboard. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. What? 
Now Wilson. His throw incomplete. He was going for the tight end, Nick Vanette. And it's third and short. They run the counter. It's Carson. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. And an alley to run. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Here's Wilson. And an alley to run. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. This is Carson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. with two ticks left. So now this one will rest on the right foot of Jason Myers. Footing obviously an issue in the driving rain. This one for the win. And his kick is good. Despite the rainstorm, a good snap, a good hold, and the kick went through. And they'll be celebrating in Pioneer Square tonight. The Seahawks have won the game. So the victory here for Seattle. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on. But they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here.